Greetings YouTube. Today I'm going to review the latest non-fiction book that I've read. A Concise History of Mathematics uh, by Dirk J. Struk, 4th edition, revised. Um, this is a Dover Press publication. I believe this was done uh, printed in 1987. When uh, Stephen Hawking was working on publishing his book, A Brief History of Time, his publisher told him for every formula that you include in the book, you will lose half of your readership. So he decided to only put in one, and that would be E equals MC squared. Well, if that publishing axiom holds true, then this book has been read by about four people in the entire world. I am, of course, being facetious, but this book has a lot of formulas in it. Now, I am not completely mathematically illiterate, but the highest math I ever took in high school was Algebra 2, and I wasn't particularly good at it. I wasn't bad at geometry. And I would have to say that easily 95% of the math in this book just went whoosh, right over my head. So, why did I read it? Well, because all the parts that weren't involved in technically discussing math were interesting. The last book I read and I reviewed dealt with Stone Age Hunters, and that ended at the um, age of agriculture. This book begins at the age of agriculture because prior to that, you didn't really need math to live your life. It wasn't until we had to do accounting, taking care of grain stores and making sure people got the taxation right and all that kind of stuff, then you needed math. So math came out of our technical advance as we became a more sedentary agricultural society. Um, and this book covers the Greek era, of course the older Babylonian, Sumerian, the Roman, it touches briefly on India and China, um, but most of this book deals exclusively with Europe. A little bit in America, but almost everything in Europe. Um, it showed me that mathematics is a really white boys club. whole lot of Caucasians, whole lot of men. I don't think this book mentioned a single woman. And in fact, uh, the only two women I can think of in the mathematical field are Danica McKellar, Keller from Wonder Years and one of our very own YouTubers who goes by the name of Vihart, who is both entertaining and informative. And I will put a link in the info bar to her channel. Um, fascinating stuff. She has some really wonderful stuff up there. I recommend you check her, her channel out. Um, but this book did deliver for, to me some interesting things. For example, um, it, that I was unaware of the fact that in the Americas there were 307 different counting systems before the Europeans showed up. That's fascinating. Um, it did briefly talk about the Maya, but they're very much in isolation and their impact upon the world of mathematics was almost nil. Um, by the time they were discovered by Europeans, the Europeans had far surpassed whatever technical achievements the Maya had uh, discovered in mathematics. Um, I would, was unaware of the fact that our 360 degree, degree compass, 60 minute hour and 60 second minute, is all because of the Babylonians who used a sec base 60 counting system. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, it was interesting to see how universal mathematics is and it moves from country to country to country even across many different language barriers, and yet the people are all able to communicate. Now, this book was very much written for someone involved in math. Also, it was someone with a fairly wide language base, because when they're quoting French and Italian and German and things like that, they're not translating this stuff. So unless you speak these things, you are really not going to have a clue what they're talking about. Thankfully, it's usually just the titles of books and articles and things like that. So I was able to infer what the heck they were talking about. But they just kind of assumed the level of competence that I don't have. Um, and this book comes all the way up through the 20th century up into the area of Einstein. Um, so it was, it was very interesting to me. And yes, you're going to be asking me, hey, why did you work your way through a book when you don't understand math to a great depth? Well, I don't have to understand how to write a symphony to appreciate it. And very much, math is the music of the universe. It helps us understand everything. Without it, we wouldn't have this thing 
that you're looking at me on right now. So math's important. Uh, I would really love to find a book that covered the same topic but was much more written to, for a lay person, someone like myself. So if anyone out there seeing this video knows of any book like that, tell me, because I would love to read it. But if you do have a technical bend to math, or you're a college student who's taking math courses, this book may be useful to you. Um, I'll be passing it on to because I don't really need a book full of equations. Um, but it was entertaining, it was interesting, it was just a really tough read for me.